So there is another round of balance changes coming at next season to Clash Royale with a total of eight cards being changed. And here is everything you need to know. There are three cards receiving a buff with both the minions and the minion horde receiving a whopping 15% damage increase, which should hopefully be a nice little boost and maybe even help to counter that Phoenix. Now, the minion horde itself is also receiving a slightly wider spawn formation to hopefully allow it to surround those blast damage cards a little bit easier small little change but honestly the minion horde might be a very scary card after this buff minion horde with a new rage rework is gonna be insane now the third card receiving a buff is the mighty miner whose movement speed will be going from a medium to fast what this does is it makes it a bit more of an aggressive pressure card and hopefully connecting to that tower a little bit faster i'm not sure what to think of this change quite yet but i'm interested to find out it could end up doing nothing at all or could make the mighty Miner a very powerful card. Moving on to the nerf list, and as everybody has been waiting for, the Phoenix is finally getting another nerf. And the Phoenix's health is being decreased by a whopping 13%, and it will now die to a lightning spell. Now, this is a pretty important change because now you can use a lightning spell to destroy both the Phoenix itself as well as the A that spawns afterwards, and even one more target if you can time it correctly, which should hopefully open the door to a bit more counter to play for that phoenix especially when paired up for the damage boost of the minions hopefully making those cards a better flying response for the phoenix as well personally i think the phoenix will still be a fairly strong card but i think their intention here is to slowly do incremental nerfs for the phoenix to get it into the proper place instead of over nerfing it and killing the card outright now moving on to nerf number two as you would expect it's the monk the monk's elixir cost is being increased from four to five and that is a substantial change for that monk but honestly the monk is a very powerful card it offers utility with the knockback it has insane dps with the third attack wombo combo and then it has an 80 percent shield ability with reflection so i can still see this being a powerful card even at a five elixir cost and honestly when it comes to champions once you have the monk unlocked there's no purpose to use any other champion so it was very clearly needing a pretty strong nerf Moving on here, we have a couple of cards getting reworked. The first of which is the Goblin Hut, who is getting a similar treatment as the Barbarian Hut got a couple of balances ago. Now, this one's a pretty long one. Let me go ahead and pull this up quickly. The Goblin Hut will now spawn at three Spear Goblins per wave, but the lifetime is being decreased from 31 seconds to 29 seconds, and the spawn rate is being increased from 4 seconds to 10 seconds with a half second spawn in between each spear goblin. Overall, it lasts shorter, spawns one more total spear goblin, and will deal 324 more damage to a tower at tourney standard if it is not answered. So, maybe Goblin Hut spawner meta incoming? I sure hope not. <laughs> now, two final changes here that will not be coming with the rest of the changes at the beginning of the season but will instead come out later on in the season with a client update is a pretty spicy rework of the rage spell with a massive change still the same two elixir costs but now with a significantly smaller radius and a fixed timer but it will now deal damage and also have a very small knockback and the damage will actually scale with the level providing more consistent interactions across across the different card levels because the Rage Ball was one of the few remaining cards that had a different interaction at tournament standard as it did at max level. Now, this damage of the Rage Ball will actually be enough to outright kill goblins, which is going to be actually insane because the Rage Ball will now offer a ton of versatility in your deck. I mean, it costs the same elixir cost as a Lock Spell and also kills the goblins. So basically, if your opponent has a Goblin Barrel, you can now use a Rage Ball instead of a Lock Spell to destroy the goblins barrel but you also have it in your deck if you want to rage your push on offense basically think of it like a lock spell that now rages up your push as well. Now, as you would expect, this change also affects the Lumberjack. So when the Lumberjack dies, it now drops the same rage spell with a smaller radius that has that tiny knockback and damage against ground units as well. So if you send in a Lumberjack first in front of your push, in addition to raging it, it'll now clear the way through all that swarm. But the radius is significantly smaller, so it'll be a lot harder to rage up your entire push. So a pretty exciting change 
Not too sure what to think of it quite yet, but I'm excited to try it out. Maybe it'll be fine. Now, once again, I want to point out here, this Rage Ball rework will not be coming initially with the new season, and it'll instead come later on with a client update. And all of these balances are just a work in progress. So if you have any feedback to Clash Royale, now is your chance to let them know. But those are the changes. What do you think?